So in this example, um, again, going back through our rule, this one we're going to use the power rule. Now we can only multiply numbers times numbers and exponents by exponents. So in this case, I'm just going to separate this just to break it up using the rule. So that's really 2 times 6 times x to the 2 fifths times x to the 1 fourth. Does everybody agree with how I, re how I rewrote this? We're basically multiplying an exponent times an exponent, but I can only multiply numbers by numbers and exponents by exponents, right? And they have the same base, so I can multiply them. So as long as the exponents have the same base of x, then to multiply using the power rule, I need to add them, right? So I'm going to do the addition over here because um, we get 12 times x to the 2 fifths plus 1 fourth. That is using the power rule of exponents. Seriously, all out of mine. So to add these, to combine these, we've got to have common denominators. Um, 5 and 4 is not the same denominator, so we cannot combine them. So therefore, I need to determine the least common uh, denominator, which in this case would be 20. So now I just need to multiply by multipliers. So I'll multiply by 5 over 5 and 4 over 4 to produce equivalent fractions, which is 8 over 20 plus 5 over 20. Now they have the same denominator, so now I can simply add them. Um, that's going to give me 13 over 20. 12x, 13 over 20. I cannot reduce the fraction. Um, I could write it as a radical form if the question asked, but there's really not any other simplified form than these two answers. So it really kind of depends on how they want the answer to be written. Um, but either one of those you know, is technically would be simplified. Usually we like to write them away from fractions, just like we don't like writing negative exponent powers. We prefer to have them in the radical form. So, you know, I would probably say this is the, the way I'd prefer the answer rather than fractional exponents. Yes? All right.